welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my spooky spoonies. I <laughs> see you guys. Today, everyone, oh my gosh, you can see we're at home. I'm finally back in town. I'm really excited because people have been showing on the Halloween Forever Facebook group that they've been finding Halloween at this particular location. So I figure I have actually, I have to go to the grocery store, but it's quite near here. So I thought, let me stop by. I think I'm also going to stop by. There is a Home Goods and a Marshalls and a TJ Maxx all in one little area right near the Whole Foods that I need to go to and Trader Joe's. So figure while I'm out, let's, let's hunt for some goods because people are posting that they're finding stuff and I, I need that my own personal code orange, you know, I really need it. Also, I didn't show you guys last time. Oliver's still here. He says, hello. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's just go inside and <sighs> see what we can find. Whew. All right, I switched out my sunglasses because I gotta go inside and I don't have, you know, I need my glasses to see. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys my outfit today. I have a cute little bat necklace. I found this on like Mercari last year and it's cute. Um, cute little sunflower dress and my bat, my bat uh, belt. I got this on, I think it was Unique Vintage. So if I can find it on their website, I'll link it down in the description below, but I don't know. Just loving my little summery sunflower outfit that I show you guys. We'll see what we can find. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's only a small little section, but oh my gosh, my heart is whole right now. Okay, let me turn around, show you what we got. All right, hopefully you can hear me over the freaking loud music, but yes, it is all pretty much candles. I'll keep looking around, see if we can find anything else, but lots of these little tapers, some witch, witch's garden. What is this? Oh, is that a finger? Okay, that's a finger. <laughs> Ghosties, orange ones, candy corn. The bone ones, they had all these last year as well. A lot of this looks, not a lot of it, but these are all from last year too. Those are kind of cute, derpy candles. They have some bigger black skulls. Are these bleeding ones? Yeah. Yeah, so they have a big one, and then they have the small one. Two different sizes, that's kind of cool. Ooh, I like these green ones. That's very witchy. Do they, are they bleeding? It just says green skull candle. I don't know. I like this color though. Um, love the candy corn, more of the drippies. We have crow. Uh, so just basically lots of, lots of bleeding <laughs> ones. Brain? These little ghosties are cute. They have one up there that I really want. I can't see it too well. Okay, so they're striped. This one right here, let me see if I can grab it down. Okay, so this one is a snake wrapped around a little ball. It's green. Eyeball, orange. They're supposed to have, I bet you it's way back there where I can't reach. They're supposed to have one, like a cauldron with like little skulls inside of it and green bubbling. I wish I had a step stool right now. Or, or a Craig. I need a Craig right now. <laughs> okay. Can I try to see if I could jump up? I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna try jumping because I don't see it even. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking. She is so blessed hot. Sorry guys, I had to turn on the AC. Um, nothing else in store. So I'm not seeing where people saw the other items. I did not find that cauldron candle yet. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that in the coming weeks and whatnot. I think the at home, there's a there's several at homes in the area, but the other one people will really saw stuff. It's just so far away. 
and this early on, I don't know if I want a chance driving 30 minutes outside the city to find nothing. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to hold on to that one for at least another couple of weeks. Or at least until the website shows that stuff's available for pickup. I found with At Home, if it shows it's available for pickup, that means it's at least probably on the shelves. I know that Target's the same way. It'll show like limited stock, but it won't show available for pickup. A lot of times they only have them in the back room or something. Or there's one somewhere randomly in the store, but it's not on the main shelf. So we'll just keep looking. But I am so excited that we found at least something. Oh, my little heart was just so happy. Now I'm going to go to, I'm debating. There is like the Home Goods Marshalls TJ Maxx. I told you about this in one, like, but it's all in one building. But there's also a different one, the one I went to last time. Which I know last year that was that tended to be the one where I found better items. And there's a Whole Foods at either location. I just really wanted to go with the one that has all three, mostly because I haven't checked that one out yet so far this year. But that Whole Foods is near a mall, and a mall means people, and I don't want people right now. <laughs> I don't want people right now. <laughs> there is a Tuesday morning up there and people have been talking about they've been finding I should just start driving let me just start driving for one I can chat while I drive let's be productive Jenny use our time wisely it is 80 82 degrees that's not terrible it feels worse than that it's not as humid as the other day my gosh the other day the humidity was at like 75% humidity so even though it was only like 82 degrees it felt like death outside Tiny baby puppies. Ooh, little puppies. First, I thought they were little pigs on leashes. Because they're so little and chubby and. Oh. You guys don't know, I have two cats. Um, I actually grew up with dogs. My husband grew up with cats. So we just got cats because it was easier, you know, when we first um, moved in together, like with apartments and whatnot. We just had cats and I love them. They're much easier to take care of than dogs. They require a little bit less energy for me in that regard. But there's also a part of me that still just really misses having dogs and like walks and like how much more you can play with them. Even though one of our cats is very much a dog. <laughs> Dottie, our little black and white cat, you will throw a toy. She'll run after it and then bring it back sometimes. She's just, she's got so much energy. She's got tiny chihuahua dog energy i'm gonna tell you that always wants to love but also always wants to play it's kind of exhausting but it's also really freaking cute i think i'm gonna head towards the one that's got all three i really want to check that area out it also is on michael's there i it's freaking july early july there's zero way michael's has anything other than maybe a few fall flowers but it doesn't hurt to to look. I don't know if I'll film that. If I find something, I'll film it. But otherwise, I'm gonna waste y'all's time. I'll just let you know one way or the other. Oh, shit. I'm in the wrong lane. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible driver. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not really a terrible driver. I just was talking to you guys and not paying attention. Oh my god, there's a car. I get really claustrophobic with cars around me. Like... I get so anxious that we're all gonna hit each other. Do I want to turn right? Where's the interstate? Ha ha! Good hit success. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. This is a mess. Have you missed this? I've kind of missed this whole let's chat and <laughs> just have a goofy time together. So have any of you guys found Halloween? I know the last that I posted the all-time pottery video. Um, oh gosh. Goodness, you guys. Why don't they make it easier? They literally said, north, go this way. I thought it was a ramp onto the interstate. No, it was a ramp onto this side street. And then there was no sign. They just said south, this way. I don't want to go south. Why is driving so chaotic? <laughs> and it being a freaking holiday weekend, you should know there's going to be like a million accidents everywhere. Anxiety, my friends. Okay, I'm just going to stop this so I can focus on driving and hopefully get us there in one piece and just get us there in general. <laughs> and uh, I'll catch up with you guys when we're uh, 
heading inside. <laughs> All right, I'm in uh, Home Goods right now, and so far, not a single freaking thing. Not even one spooky mug to be found. Ooh, ooh, there's a big mirror. Let me switch around. Look, see the cute little outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna head to TJ Maxx. Let's see if we find anything there. Right now, ooh, this is a cute shirt. Green and black. That's like super 90s, I'm loving it. Okay, send happy thoughts. Every time I keep seeing something orange, I'm like, <gasps> but it turns out to be like a summer lantern or butterflies. <laughs> I love butterflies, but you know, when you're looking for spooky stuff and all you find is summer stuff, it just ruins your day. Or just doesn't make the day. We'll say that, maybe it doesn't ruin the day. Although, kind of. I'm just surprised. Everybody's finding stuff if they're at home. Or not at their home goods. And they're at home. Cincinnati, get on it. Or at least mine. Please get on it. Because I don't want to have to go outside the city. First world problems. Alright, let's go to home. Let's go to TJ Maxx. <laughs> okay, so inside TJ Maxx. Have I found Halloween? No. I feel like this is becoming a trend that I don't like. But I did find cute clothes this like green little I think it's like a bathing suit cover up but I'm gonna use this as like a little duster and then I found a white one it's like super like boho witchy and I mean it's something it's a win and I will wear these all summer over like tank tops <laughs> all right I think I am gonna go to Tuesday morning so let's head there all right head to Tuesday morning y'all the clock just hit 11 11. I'm gonna take that as like the best sign ever that we're going to find some Halloween. Let's do it. Okay, so not a ton of stuff, but there are these cookie cutter sets. Look at this. There's, so there looks like there's three different sets available. These are really adorable. And then there's a whole bunch of these spatula sets these are really nice I like the small ones these are if you eat mayo these are are good for mayo things they're like little tiny jars where you're trying to get the sauce out that's cute so we have that set that one boo with happy Halloween oh I got a bad set I don't need any more spatulas though I've got to restrain myself. I have so many. I bought so many last year. Not bad though, $3.99? It's just cute, that, ma that would match my kitchen, like. Oh gosh, do I get it? <sighs> nope, nope, I'm trying to be good. But these are, these are really cute. I like these. I'll keep looking, I didn't find anything else so far, but I'll keep checking. Some sock sets from Pussy Johnson. So this is like a little longer fuzzy sock. These are cute, the shorter ones, and another set of the shorter ones. I love these. I think I'm gonna get this set because um, fuzzy socks are life. <laughs> so two things I found. They're not explicitly Halloween, but look at this cute like little birdhouse. It, it's giving me very like Beetlejuice Halloween, kind of. It's really, really cute. Also, this faux fur like fleecy blanket. I know it's the middle of summer um, and I don't need another blanket, but $11.97 plus an additional 20% off because everything in the store is 20% off. Yes. I mean, I will use this in the winter, so might as well get ready for now. All right, so that blanket actually ended up being $8.97 and then they took the 20% off. So I think, oh, you can't even see me. Okay, so for I think the blanket, and the socks it ended up being like $12 with tax. Ooh. All right, let me get situated and we'll we'll chat and wrap things up. Okay, so even though we didn't find Halloween in there, which I'm kind of sad about because it seems like everybody who's gone to their Tuesday morning has found Halloween, but that blanket is a great freaking deal. And we got some cute socks, some fuzzy Halloween socks. So that is a win for me. I'm really happy that I guess 
the socks are technically my first Halloween purchase for the year, so yay. The blanket is just gonna be a year on thing for me. Probably more winter. So I'm still a little disappointed we didn't find much more at At Home and nothing at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, or Marshall. But <laughs> maybe next week we'll see how I'm feeling. Maybe I'll drive out to somewhere a little bit further and see if I can find some better stuff for you guys. But it's a start. I just gotta be patient. Said no one ever. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry we didn't find a whole lot and hopefully I didn't ramble on too much. I'm hoping I was able to edit it down because your girl likes to chat. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate all your love and support. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be doing these Halloween decor hunting video videos at least once a week. And of course, I do Halloween stuff year round on the channel. So you definitely don't want to miss anything. Make sure you are subscribed for that. I hope you guys are doing wonderful and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.